I want to see how different he is. True devotion is showing up for a person whether they know it or not. The last time I was here was Father's Day weekend. When was the last time you saw him? Oh, uh, Sunday. And devotion is what keeps the Wakeley family going. Oh, <laughs> passed out. <laughs> He looks comfy. Its patriarch is Mickey, a husband, father, and golf lover <laughs> who at 55 learned he'd lose it all. Doesn't bother me at all. Too soon. I know, I know I have it. I have Alzheimer's and that's it. We first met him last yeah. October, four years into early onset. I know, they've done a really good job. Still chatty, getting around with the help of family and living at home in San Antonio with his wife, Jane. Nine months later. Hey, Daddy. Dad. Mickey? Mickey's new home is this <laughs> hey. memory care center. It's like not having it. We came to see how the disease is progressing. Hello. Mickey. And Daddy. how it's affecting their Daddy. kids. Sammy came all the way down from Dallas to see you. The fact that I can still walk in and. He knows you're somebody important. He knows that we're important and that's all I can ask for at this point. The Wakeley's three children are Jake, Samantha, and Luke. And, and all live in Dallas, are under 30, and during the time they were starting their lives. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do that. But they learned they'd have to start yeah, mourning their fathers. It's just hard to deal with because like, it's almost as if he's there, but he's not. But he's it's not the most there. confusing thing to process. Like that's the one word. <laughs> okay. Confusing. I need a hug. To watch a man of strength wobble on Can his feet. To see a businessman struggle. Mm -hmm. Can you read that? Can you read that, sweetie? With simple words. Do you, do you know you have your cow and clean? That's clean. right. That is clean. Yes. And to feel such irrational hate from the man who loved you watch it. since the day you were born. During the time I was taking care of him, there's just things that he would uh, he would do and, and say to me. And it, was, it was just hard to deal with. Like one time, uh, he put a knife, up, a knife up to me and like threatened me with it. I just had to clean up bodily fluids all the time. And it was just a really uh, stressful time. Those moments are hard to forget. I love you, Daddy. Mickey is now thinner. His speech is spotty, and he needs around-the-clock care. Wait a second. What are we waiting for? He is just 61 years old. <laughs> Bathroom break. Doctors and nurses agree he is declining fast. Aww. Feel better now? <laughs> but there's no timeline. You're almost just constantly waiting, which sounds awful. It's almost like a sick joke. To cope, the kids say they're focusing on comfort. Last bite. Yeah. I don't think he's really in a ton of pain. No. I mean, if you look at him, all he does is like smile and laugh. So I think yeah. he's the he's in the best mood out of all of us. Oh, for Pro sure. Probably. Taste nah. There really isn't much they can do for him, so they've put their focus in fundraising and raising awareness. It was a good lunch. I asked yeah. if the father they remembered would be proud. With everything that's happened, I think he'd just be happy like that we're all able to sit in a room together and not bite each other's head off. <laughs> That's yeah. probably the, what he'd be happy about the most. I was going to say, more than the awareness we brought, I think the fact that we are, the three of us, so close now because of it, I think he would be really happy to see that. I'll see you later, okay? Yeah. Yep. I love you. All right. Okay, Have a good you. nap. Thank you, Mom. Mickey will never you, know it, but in the end, thank that you. doesn't matter. Thank you. His beloved family is now stronger. Love you. Because of his disease. Okay. In San Antonio, Marisa Vedra, Channel 8 News. And by the way, the family wants everyone to know that their family and friends have been keeping them going through this very difficult time. They're committed to raising money to help find a cure for this terrible disease.